Hey, hey everybody. everybody. Two, Two boys, boys one, one brain, brain cell. cell. I'm Chuck Beeson. This is Joel Norton. What up, dog? And today, we're coming at you with the canary by Protest the Hero. And? And then we're going to follow it up with From the Sky. Yeah, it's a Patreon pick. They just have to be next to each other on the album. So we're going to boop, do a double. Yeah, knock them out together. You sound so excited. I am. <laughs> do you want to jump right in, bud? You know I do. All right, here goes the canary. halfway point Ooh. i was like i'm not sure if we should stop in the middle of these just because how, how long they are you know? yeah that's fair listen <clears throat> screw it we doing it <laughs> that guitar is an <clears throat> extremely like intricate yeah it is and then like when uh there's there's been I like the way that you put that yeah and there's been a few parts where like it hits almost like a breakdown would hit but it's just like a <laughs> bunch of like intricate just riffs. during it yeah <laughs> Like he'll stop singing. It's like, did it, did it, did it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Obviously, oh, yeah. that's probably not the correct tune, but it, I guarantee it's not. I but guarantee it's not. <laughs> but that guitar is going nuts all song. Yeah, and I've actually finding myself enjoying that aspect over everything else so far. Um, as far as like lyrically, sure, I get this idea that somebody's leaving. So sad. <laughs> I think Amelia is leaving. <laughs> no way. And I, I really got Just the stay. Idea. Don't go. <laughs> right. <laughs> I like how it like kind of switched perspectives. Yeah, I you like right there at that towards the, I don't know if you call it the chorus, but yeah, where it started talking about Amelia. Yeah. Yeah. At least it feels like it switched perspective. It could just all be in that perspective. Not a hundred percent sure. I'm not gonna lie to you, Chuck. I am. Uh, quite distracted by the guitar which is you know i think the guitar is really good so i get it yeah 
Oh. I'll try to pay more attention to the lyrics. No, you just you enjoy the song how you just need just to enjoy the song, bud. <laughs> <laughs> Send it. All right. So I think that's my only complaint here is at the very end when they said more nor- notoriety when they crash and then I feel like it kind of slowed down a little bit. Yeah, I was like, where's the hit? It's got to hit here. I There's wanted that hit. little guitar outro yep. first and then when they crash, like a little bit louder. Oh, that would have been fine. Yeah, you I would like saying? that too, yeah. But other I was that, just waiting for a hit. And I'm like sitting there, it's got to hit. Yeah. And then it, it hit. It hit lightly, but it hit. Yeah. And I wanted it now. Yeah, it was almost more of a subtle hit than it was. Yeah, which is fine. It was very, in, it, yeah. again, it was very intricate. It was like I was just excited because I thought it was going to hit a little harder. Yeah, That's and all. then those drums really popped out there towards the end, too. Yeah. Really came out with the guitar. Hmm. I like this one. Very intricate instrumentally, and I did notice, at least during the second half, when he was singing, the instrumental in the back kind of almost faded. Not faded, but kind of just sat there in the background. Okay. Kept the melody and kept the tone of everything. And then when he stopped singing, it picks back up. Hmm. At least it did in the second half to my ears. <laughs> uh, I, I it. liked it. <laughs> Hell yeah. I, I really like the style that this brought out. And yeah. I really like the uh, that ending. Talking about women get more notoriety. When they crash. When they crash. Yeah. After talking about they... They do comparable tasks, and they, they get, get more, more glory. Credit, yeah, but they also they get hit harder when, when they, they crash. Yeah. yeah, if you fuck up, it's worse. Yeah, which is sad but true. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, no, I like this one a lot. Um, I guess ratings on this one. Yeah, we can jump into ratings. Um, I'm gonna go with a six point seven out of ten, and I'm gonna put this in playlist. I'm gonna go with six point eight playlist yeah i really enjoyed this i thought it was really well put together instrumentally very very nice yes absolutely vocals were really nice and lyrics were lyrics were pretty solid overall a lot of it i'm just sitting there like okay i don't know exactly what's going on and then i thought i had an idea and then i feel like i'm i was completely wrong i'm fine with it yeah um if you were curious a little backstory to because we've we've reacted to one other song by them which was uh missed okay um it was about newfoundland they were like okay yeah that one? Yep. yeah okay so um they were having a blast in that yes, one. yes <laughs> they were and apparently he had a vocal injury okay from this is what my our patreon at least told him told me uh he had a vocal injury so this album was his coming back come back from that and he had to learn to sing differently a little bit okay to make it work. Well, definitely nailed it. So far, good. Yeah. Vocally, that, yeah, that was I like pretty that. good. Yeah. 
Granted, we don't have much to compare to because we have only heard that one other song of their older stuff. Right, but I mean, <laughs> vocally in general, it was good. So, oh yeah, absolutely, yeah. Obviously, he came back. Yeah, I added the compare just part fine. just to annoy you. Of course, you did. Yeah, you hate when I compare bands just to themselves. I do. <laughs> you really do. <laughs> just, sometimes I'm not even really comparing. I'll just throw it out there just to. Little, See, I don't even notice that you're doing it on purpose. Salt on the wind. Just bothers me anyway. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I know this will eat them up a little bit for a while. 100%. <laughs> Let's jump into uh, From the Sky. Yeah. Protest Hero. Obviously. I'll rewind that just a little bit. Halfway point. Um, Instrumentally, dude. It's almost like an elegant chaos. Oh, yeah. Because it's like his vocals and the rest of the music just kind of has this nice flow to it. Yeah. All, almost catchy, too. Yeah. And you feel like you're being told a story. But in the background, the guitars are just shredding the hell out. It's like Going nuts. In some, like, super, yeah, it just feels like. Like that, this is like flowing really nicely, and this is just all over the place in the background. Yeah, and it like just is like beautiful, like and it melds together, chaotic perfectly. meld. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, lyrically, I feel like I'm being told a story. Being uh, yeah, a little bit. Not. It's kind of like hey, <laughs> the the things that we found remarkable uh, just aren't. Yeah, <laughs> they're they're just not now because now, of the technology of the we update, have. Yeah. That's what I got from it as well. Like uh, the picture, a completely unremarkably unremarkable 
trip across the ocean. Like, okay, guy, <laughs> I see you. Yeah. It, it was captured, uh, witness, witness of a, of a flash. It was captured in a photograph when transit transitory memory became permanent. And we always remember always. I thought that was really cool. As they pour us into molds, we remember because we're malleable as gold. That just has a really nice flow to it. it the does. whole does. It's just it's a like, beautiful line, too. Uh, yeah. Lyrically, I like, I'm not exactly, I couldn't tell you, like, exactly what this is about so far but it's like i'm really enjoying just sitting yeah sitting there just listening i I get the idea that it's talking about how technology has made everything so easy for us that we don't have anything that's remarkable anymore we just kind of i guess i just didn't want to assume since we're only halfway through the song right but i'm saying so far yeah Yeah. just the tone of his vocals like it makes me like i'm like Hey, even if I have zero clue what's going on. Bro, teach me. <laughs> yeah. I'm, it's like when you, yeah, exactly. You have a really good teacher and you're like, oh, yeah. I'm enjoying listening to what you have to Oh, offer. 100%. And that's what I'm Absolutely. Kind of here. Um, that's just the idea I get from the first half, though. Sure. That, that's definitely I, where I'm I going. I agree 100%. So um, 100%. Obviously, bud. that can completely change. I mean, we saw it with the last song. <laughs> it did. Yeah, that happens. Yeah. I'm going to rewind that just a tad. And send it. Send it. First of all, I think as soon as we started the video, lyrically, we were not cor- even not close, close to being correct. Yet. <laughs> and then second, I could just feel my ratings going oh, up. Yeah, and that second half. Oh, like, dude, it hit that the quiet part and then hit piano. the piano, and I'm like, oh, sure, that piano. Like, oh fuck. <laughs> hell no, you didn't just whip out a piano on us. Oh, he oh. did. <laughs> It is in the weak spot. So I start thinking that the uh, the beginning is a build up 
talking about photography and how it was started yeah. and then talking about why it's so important. That's almost what I was getting as well. And then, and then the impact it does to your memory. Like yeah. you might not. Cause like, I thought this was really clever here at the end with like, I could be completely wrong, but this is what I took from it. So take my picture. I'm decomposing. Like I'm getting older. Yeah. Um, make it a solemn silhouette. Like, cause it's, it, it's, that's really what it is. You know what yeah. I mean? It's not, there's no, uh, you look at a picture, you show me a picture of you from your past yeah. and my head's going to start like trying to figure out, like I'm going to make assumptions yeah, oh yeah. off that picture every time, every time. Um, and even when you have a picture, like you don't remember something, you look you, at that picture and you're like, Oh, now I remember everything perfectly, but you 100%. realistically don't. Um, and but, I, it, but a lot of it rushes back to you. Yeah. Even if it's a little off of what it sure. was, you remember something. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's, it kind of was, it's like, yeah, but image impacts our collective memory. So that's what I'm thinking. Like, you know, as you look at a picture, it, it changes from time to time. Oh yeah. It, especially as you get older. Oh yeah. So like, you're not remembering fully correctly. Now I could be way off, but that's what I'm taking from. And regardless, it's very unique lyrically. <laughs> oh yeah. And then the first half super, like I said, intricate. And then just had this like beautiful meld of, chaos and non chaos like real smooth and then the second half you just smack us with some beauty with the piano oh, dude and then everything from that piano point instrumentally for me was perfect like it's exactly know. what i want slow build with the guitar after that i and didn't that, know that i wanted that drop either yeah but i wanted as soon as that happened it. i was like this is better oh yeah it's even better and now you got me what i want to take pictures now <laughs> I'm not a picture person. I take a lot, but I don't ever do anything with them. Watch. They're like, oh, this is dissing photography. <laughs> or something like well, that. Well, if it's dissing photography, that's terrible because I want to take more now. Chuck's like, well, <laughs> this is an ad. <laughs> <laughs> Every time he hears it, he just starts taking pictures. <laughs> pictures. <laughs> Selfies with his food. And now I know life. exactly where I'm at when I hear this song. Actually, that's probably a good example, taking a picture of your food. Yeah. And you yeah. look at it and you're like, I think I remember what that tasted like. <laughs> but you don't have that. If I remember, essence, that was delicious. That was freaking really good, but I don't really remember it. Picture of us in Chicago, like, huh. Yeah. That was a blast. It was. Yeah. Why I'll, were I'll, we there? I'll remember some of the stuff for a little longer than you. Oh, probably. absolutely. Chuck's like, we did that? <laughs> we went where? <laughs> It's like I was there in the moment. <laughs> Wait a minute. We went somewhere? Didn't we go fishing once? <laughs> Throwback. Hard. <laughs> Hit you with that one. All right. Rating wise, what are you thinking here? Oh, um, I'm going to go 7.8 playlist. Yeah, I'm going 7.6 playlist. That's a solid one for sure. Very good song. I mean, come on. Like, even if I'm not fully gathering lyrically what's happening here, I really enjoy the uniqueness of oh, yeah. how everything's set up here. And uh, that's going to keep me coming back. And then instrumentally, like I said, there's, like you said, there's uh, changes in the song that I didn't exactly know I wanted. Yeah. And as soon as they happened, I was like, wow, this has made the song so much fresher. Almost like that change fell from the sky. Yeah. That's, yep. <laughs> fell from right from the sky, guys. Made me happy. <laughs> He's so mad at me right now. <laughs> but. But. I think that's it. You got anything else to add? Negative. All right. We are two boys. We have one brain cell. You can vote for that brain cell down in the, in the comments, comments below. Please do. Do it. We love it. Outside of that, if you enjoyed our video, hit that like button. If you really like to hit that subscribe. Outside of that, peace out. Have a great day. Peace out, y'all.